Good morning and welcome to our virtual assembly for Wednesday the 16th of September 2020. This week, a different theme. You've had the same theme and I don't need to mention what that is, but you've had the same theme since March, April, every week talking about the same thing. So it's about time we change the subject a little bit and get on to some other things that are also very, very important. And the subject for this week's assembly is aspiration. And whatever year group you might be in, aspiration is really important. And what aspiration means is about doing the best you can do for yourselves, for your future. To be aspirational in your life, you need to aim high and you don't need to settle for what we'll just do. Personal best is our school motto and it's really important that that applies to everyone because everyone's personal best will be different from everyone else's. So aim high and believe in yourselves, believe that you can really achieve and be ambitious about what you want to achieve because we can all push ourselves to go that bit further and do that bit more. But also don't just be ordinary, be extraordinary. That's something to aspire to in, in your aspirational journey as you come through school. And the more aspirational you are, the better chance you have of succeeding if you really take all the help and support that you can be given through school, but also being self-motivated to achieve your dreams and, and whatever it is you wish for your own future. But aspiration doesn't just happen overnight. I've often heard it said that it's like a journey and a journey is not a sprint. It's, it's a marathon in this case, in terms of reaching your aspirations. You don't want to be at the bottom of those steps where you might be feeling below average or satisfactory because, you know, that's really not good enough for you and it's not good enough for me and it's not good enough for anyone. You want to be climbing up those steps towards very good and excellent and potentially outstanding in whatever field it is you choose to go into in the future. Whatever year group you're in, you can be aspirational for your current year in school. In first year, you might be wanting to make a really good impression and really try your best so that secondary school is not so daunting as you thought it might be. In second year, you're aiming to you know, think about the gaps that you've had in your education because of lockdown and what you're aiming for in choosing your subjects for S3. In S3 itself, that's a very, very important and pivotal year. You're working your way through the end of the broad general education and thinking towards the senior phase and the skills that you learn in S3 will absolutely set the foundations for the senior phase for you. As you move into fourth year, you're really into an extremely important year where you're focusing on your qualifications and the springboard that you're going to need to catapult yourselves from fourth to fifth or fourth year to college or, or employment or apprenticeships. And as you come through fifth and sixth year, you're looking to extend your skills, to hone your skills and to find out what things really, really are important to you and where your strengths are, which helps point you in the right direction for the future. So how do you aspire to achieve? Well, it's all about making making plans. Um, you won't just drift along and get to where you want to be without a plan. Set yourself targets, whatever you might be doing. It might be a personal target. It might be something that's nothing to do with school. I set myself a steps target and that's, that's working for me. So I'm going to increase my steps target. But for young people, your targets, personal and professional, if you like, towards your aspirations. Seek feedback. Studies have shown that getting feedback on your work and on the next steps of how to improve your work is one of the greatest keys to success. And imagine yourself being successful because that can be a spur to leading to the future. And persevere, the word there is perseverance. And if you continue to persevere and you don't give up, you will in the end reach your goals if you set your heart on them. Now I'm going to show you something. Um, 
I've done this assembly before, but it's been a while and I think it's an excellent message and the younger pupils haven't seen or heard this assembly. We go, th we go through our day and I'm going to show you. I've got here a, a glass of water and I've coloured it with orange squash and I'm going to fill it up. You imagine this glass of water is like your brain and you come into school and you get filled up with lots and lots of knowledge so you go along and you get filled up with some history then you go along to the next class and you get filled up a little more with some maths and you go along to the next class and you get filled up with creative arts and you go along to the next class and it's geography and you go along to the next class and it's english and you go along to the next class and it's science. And if you can see that, the brain is overloaded. It's overflowing and it can't cope. Many people think that education is about filling people's brains with facts and knowledge, and it's quite the opposite. You are like the empty vessel, and that, that's what some people think, that you come to school to be filled up and filled up with lots of knowledge. But actually, in reality, it's quite different. You are more like this can of Pepsi Max. It's my favourite. I prefer that to Diet Coke. Um, but actually, you're already full. You've already got the liquid inside you. We don't have to have the glass that we fill up with liquid. You're already full. Your goodness and greatness is already inside. But in order to activate that greatness, you have to challenge yourself. You have to shake yourself up a little bit You've got to agitate yourself and that challenge is that the greatness is inside. And when you release that greatness, as you can see, it's spilling everywhere. And don't worry, I've got a tray here that's catching all, all of the drips. But that is the important thing. The greatness is already inside you and you have to challenge yourself to bring it out. And our job as educators is to help you bring out your skills and your talents so that you can achieve and you can aspire to be even better than you already are. This is a wonderful quote that is from a man called John Buchan, no relation to me, um, but the quote is that the task of leadership, and I'm seeing leadership as school, is not to put the greatness into humanity or the greatness into our pupils, but to elicit it. And elicit means capture because the greatness is already there within our pupils. It's our job to bring that out. You have greatness within you, and I hope that you will aspire to whatever it is you want to be and have a really, really good learning day. Thank you.